Welcome to Electron Online. I thought it might be a good idea to show you rule number two with a three by three matrix because that's an odd order matrix and the rule applies, it's the same rule that applies but of course since we have to raise the negative one to the order of the matrix when n becomes an odd number that ends up being a negative one then and does it still work? So here we're going to show you an example with a three by three matrix. If this is the matrix A then this would be the negative of matrix A, simply changing all of the elements to the opposite sign. The positives become negatives and the negatives become positives. Of course, zero stays the same. Here we're going to take the determinant of the negative of matrix A, which can be written as this, which means we're going to take the first upper left element, negative one, and multiply it times. Now what we do here is we cover up this column we cover up this row that leaves us these four elements and now we write out here the product of the diagonals as if we simply have what we'd call a two by two matrix. So this becomes a minus four times a minus five minus the product of these diagonals. And of course we have a minus one times zero which becomes zero. We'll take care of that later. Now we take the negative of the second element. So that becomes minus a minus 2 multiply times again what you do now is you get rid of that row and this column you end up with those four elements and then you multiply the diagonals so that would be the product of 0 times negative 5 minus the product of these diagonals which would be a minus 1 times 2 and finally we get plus the third element up here times and again, you get rid of this row and this column, you end up with those four diagonals. So we multiply the zero times zero and subtract from that, we multiply the minus four and the two. Now that becomes equal to a negative one times, that's a positive 20 minus zero. Minus times a minus becomes a plus two, multiply times, that's a zero. And that would be a positive 2. And here we get plus 3. And I don't have the closing parentheses. And I don't have the closing parentheses. And I'll have the closing parentheses. Wow, on all three of them. So we have to be careful to be correct here. So we have 3 times. That would be 0 minus times the minus. That's plus 3 times 8. So simplifying that, that gives us a minus 20. A plus 4. And a plus 3 times 8 is 24 which is a positive 8. That means if we take the determinant of the negative of the matrix A, we get positive 8. Now let's work out the right side of that equation. We get minus 1 to the third power, it's a 3 by 3 matrix, times the determinant of matrix A, which is written like this. Minus 1 to the third power is simply minus 1, and now we have to work out what's in there. So here we get minus 1 times, and I'll use a big bracket like that, we have the first element, 1, times what's left when we cross out this row and that column, which is 4 times 5, minus the product of those two, which is 1 times 0. And I need the closing parentheses. I can't forget that. Now we take the negative of that element, negative 2 times. We cross out that row and that column. We end up with those, two, those four elements right here. So it would be 0 times 5 minus 1 times a negative 2. And finally we get add to that a minus 3, so plus a minus 3 times we get rid of that row in this column, we have those four elements right there which is 0 times 0 minus 4 times a negative 2. And the bracket finally because the whole thing will be multiplied times a negative 1. So that's equal to negative 1 times so here we have 20 minus 0 times 1, that gives us 20. Here we have 0, that's a plus 2 times a minus 2, that gives me minus 4. And then here we have, that's 0, we have a minus 8 times a minus 3. Uh, let's see, a minus, no, that's a plus 8, sorry. That's a minus times a minus, that's plus 8 times a minus 3, which is minus 24. So that then reduces to a minus 1 times a minus 8, which is a positive 8. And so again, we get the exact same number.
that we got before. So you can see that with a 3 by 3 matrix, this rule works as well. That means that when we take the determinant of the negative of a matrix, that is equal to the negative 1 raised to the nth power, in this case the n by n matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix, times the, or I should say nth order, well that's the nth order which becomes the nth power of this minus 1, times the determinant of the matrix A. And again you can see that the rule works just fine. That's how it's done.